to think that you can wake up one morning and, and be worried about what colour shoes you're going to match with which dress and then the next day you're suddenly fighting for your life. It's um, an incredible change. I'd graduated from uni and felt like I had the world at my feet and had so many hopes and plans and dreams and I assumed that I had all the time ahead of me and that I was in control. And then the moment you're diagnosed with cancer, all that control that you think you have over your, your life and your health and your future is suddenly taken away from you. Um, and, and all there really is is life and death. That's, that's all you see. I always had this image of the hospital, of Peter Mac as being this really frightening place. But when you walk through the doors, it's it's the complete opposite. It's it's a place of um, of strength and hope and and empowerment and all the all the fears and questions and concerns that come with a cancer diagnosis. Um, from you know the immediate concerns about am I going to be able to work and what will treatment feel like to those longer term bigger questions am I going to be able to have kids and will I be able to run again um, you know it, it's no longer up to you to figure it out on your own incredible network of support at Peter May I, I imagine that I'd finish treatment feeling like I had the world at my feet and, and ready to pursue all those big plans that I had for my life before I was diagnosed with cancer but the truth is at the moment I'm scared to make plans there's always going to be another another scan another appointment marked in the diary and and the fear and the real possibility of relapse is always going to be there People are so often congratulating me on beating cancer and I'm really hesitant to, to claim any sort of personal victory because every time you walk into the treating room at Peter Mac or you sit in a waiting room, you're always aware that there's people around you that are fighting just as hard and, and they haven't done anything differently but they've had different outcomes. And for me, it's not enough that I've survived cancer when I know that so many others haven't. The only thing that gives me hope is the thought that is medical research and the thought that perhaps in 10 or 20 or 30 years time having cancer could mean something completely different. You, you don't realise that the medical research is happening until you need it and, it and then you're very grateful for it and, and you know, we, we've come so far in a short space of time, imagine what more we can achieve. And, yeah. It's not just money that you're giving, it's hope. I don't think I'll ever underestimate the value of just people helping people.